Hey guys, it's Jen here from Living Life and Crafting with Crohn's. And I have a um, bit of a review for you today. Um, I bought a set of alcohol markers. I normally use Ohuhu's, that's what I'm used to using. Um, but I got these um, on Amazon. They cost me $43 for a set of $120. And uh, the brand is uh, called Colpart. Cole, and uh, most of the cheaper markers you can find have a chisel and a bullet nib, but never a brush. Um, what intrigued me about these was that they actually came with a brush nib. So I thought if it comes with a brush and it's any good, that's going to be a great deal. But um, there's some major problems, um, and these will be going back. But I wanted to um, give you guys a quick rundown. On what's going on and why these aren't uh, the best in my opinion <clears throat> so first of all the case is nice and it was packed nicely it's got the trays underneath that hold the actual markers still so that's nice but when you get it the colors are in every order under the Sun they're just all over the place okay um, so that's a bit of a pain um, so let's just take out this guy here. I'm hoping I'm close enough. Okay, so it's got the broad end, and it says fine, but it's actually a brush. If you see that. And then the other end is just your regular chisel. So, the... I got them all swatched out, and the very first thing I noticed while I was swatching was the bleed through. Now, all alcohol markers are going to bleed to the back of the paper. Um, these are these are these ones, but even on my Ohuhus, they're all going to bleed through. But on the Ohuhus, they never bleed to the next page on my 67 pound cardstock. Um, after starting a picture, um, and actually after swatching, um, they were leaking um, onto my scratch paper underneath. So that was my one of my main problems with that. And then um, also the brush nib is not great. It's uh, it feels like it might last two or three uses before it frays and is no good. Um, also the markers all feel almost empty and I did get quite a few duds that are dry. Um, so this is the picture that I had started <clears throat> with these to see how they performed and I hated them so much I didn't even finish it. Now, um, you, you should be able to see all of the lines, uh, in the green there. Um, now with alcohol marker, you do have to work quickly. Uh, if you put a wet marker over something that's dried, you will get a mark. Um, but like say for the ear, I done the ear, you know, by itself. So I put down one layer of light green and literally there's two different lines. So I put down that much, it dried, put down that much, it dried, and then put down that much and it dried. So they dry so incredibly quickly that you can't blend them well at all and you can definitely see it in the face as well um and again blood through this is only one um coat and typically in my alcohol marker painting style we'll use um at least probably two maybe three so uh that's definitely a problem um was there anything else oh the the color selection was the other thing that's not fantastic. Um, they're really, really heavy on the reds. Uh, the yellows are quite poor. There's a few. Um, as for skin tones, you might see there's a couple here and a few pinks and some purples. And then again, they're super heavy on the blues. So, yeah. So the, the uh, selection is not great. The color selection either. So, these will be going back to Amazon, but I wanted to give you guys uh, a quick little rundown of these. Um, and uh, 
just to kind of give you a fair warning. Uh, but I do have quite a few, I have some more pencils that have just come in. And our pens, I apologize, and I'm going to be doing some unboxing, some testing, swatching, and all kinds of things. So um, we'll get to that. But um, in my opinion, not worth it, especially for 43 Canadian dollars. It's not worth it. Don't bother. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, uh, and subscribe button, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any other videos. Bye, guys.